What's up guys? This is the Roseman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So to pick up where we left off, we have this force under Kevin McDowell who is approaching southeast to attack this Prussian army here. And there is also a small force that's going to um, enter the battle from some other direction. But we've got quite an elite force here on our side. But then again, the Prussians actually have quite a good number of grenadiers. They've got some interesting superior line infantry units, line infantry guards. But we do have this force coming in from somewhere. So, well, the hope is that I can knock out these forces with just Kevin McDowell's army, send them scurrying back east, and that'll give us quite a commanding position of the heartland of the Prussian Empire. So without further ado, let's attack and destroy this force um, in Cologne. Because yeah, if we can annihilate their army, send them scuttling back to the east, then we will be able to do some um, pretty good damage and well, well we will have done some pretty good damage but it'll also open up the cities of Dresden and Berlin to our forces which will um, pretty much cause the uh, cause the Prussian Empire to collapse quite significantly but nevertheless we shall engage them and we shall send them back okay so we've got trees to the center I'm tempted to deploy off axis Or, hmm, here's tempting, because we've, well, based on, well, the logic is the enemy should be coming in from over here. So if we, well, should be coming in from over here, because if we're attacking, well, we're attacking straight ahead, so that means they, sh they could come from over there. So I think, in general, this is the smarter deployment zone. So let's put them, put some of my Irish volunteers out on the flank. Get my rifles out on the right, fl actually, no, let's put the Connaught Rangers out on the right flank. And let's give them a horse guard unit as backup. So our artillery is set up. Let's put some a mixture of infantry units deployed in the line. Because we're likely going to have some enemy scallywags. So I've got one unit of artillery in the line. I'm going to put one unit back to do some encounter battery work. And the guess is the enemy will come from... First of all, let's make sure that those guys are grouped up. So we've got a good elite chunk of units here ready to redeploy. Plus my riflemen against wherever the enemy may show up. Plus unit of horse guards. Deploy the howitzers. I'm going to put some Highlander warband behind my artillery. Regiment of horse is going to go out wide as well. So my howitzers focus on other targets. My artillery is going to focus. My field artillery is going to focus on their field artillery quite heavily. So there's no need to maximise our howitzer fire. Although, okay. So which one are you? Okay, you guys? Shrapnel shot, reload against the regiment of force. This unit to the rear. Stay firing. Round shot and focus on the 24 pounders. Where's my Connor Rangers? Get them out into the trees. So I need to keep an eye out when well when we start to see units routing, that's when we'll know what's up. Trap will shot against the regiment of horse. Ooh, just a good chunk of men there. There they go. So you men. Okay, you engage this unit of gendarmerie, because they're coming right at us. Let's pick new howitzer targets. It's just a unit of gendarmerie, but... We don't want their cavalry. I think this this gun unit there is bugged. Yeah, guard to core unit. Hannes to shot the gendarmerie. Let's get my Highlanders up. They've charged my guns. So if my gun crews abandon their guns, which it appears like they aren't, but if they do, my rifles on the right are staying fairly 
well protected. My gunners are still firing. Oh god, my generals out there quite exposed. You men all fire at will off. Fortunately, there are only gendarmerie. The well, Highlanders, once they've taken... Okay, I might have to advance up my cavalry protection because my Highlander warbands don't fire... They can't deploy in square, so I'm going to run my um, cavalry around the flank. So you men are going to start to round canister shot the enemy as they come in. So my rifles... You guys engage the 53rd Regiment. Whoa! Cavalry, my artillery's hit. Some people danger close, but we're massing against the Regiment of Dragoons here, so they will not be long for the chop. Let's get some horse guards closer up to help bolster the, this flank, because it looks like we might actually start to run into some problems. Okay, you men, sans these two units form line. Islanders, get back out of get back out of there. My horse guards continue. Engage the 53rd. My riflemen can wander back under the protection of my Highlanders. We do have some enemy units on the flank, so let's form a flank with some of our reserves. Let's get my rifles over onto the right flank. Okay, let's get my horse guards back out of that engagement. You men engage the Grenadiers, although it looks like you guys are almost entirely bugged. The 7th Grenadier Regiment looks pretty good, actually. As a, look, as a, as a Grenadier unit, they look quite neat. Horse Grenadier Guards are starting to get involved. This artillery to the rear. Continue to engage their 24-pounder howitzers. Aha! So the enemy... There, there. Okay, the enemy troops are coming in now. So let's get my some of my cavalry and horse guards over here. If you guys form square, that should knock out the general's bodyguard fairly conclusively. These two units should do quite a lot of damage. Let's get my melee infantry over here, because it looks like they we're going to get some... They're going to get some trade. So you men attack the 69th Regiment, you guys attack the 6th Regiment. Now that unit forms square once more. We've got some enemy artillery coming into the rear of the map. Again, we've still got our, our mobile cavalry contingent. So just keep chasing them down. Send in my Highlander Warband. And my rifles here can continue to engage the enemy infantry without losing too many men. So it's militia and European mercenaries, so that's not too much of a problem. You men engage the regiment of horse. Let's get these infantry over here as well. If you guys run through the square formation, you should get the Freikorps to chase you down. And they'll hit the square, and they'll hopefully be suckered into engaging my infantry. Oh, oh there they go. Horse guards defeat the enemy regiment of horse. And there we go. Irish volunteers and Highlander warband against the militia. That, inf that artillery unit's pretty bugged. A new regiment of horses going down. You men can get out of square. They can stay in square. Get the horse guards over here as well. So if we break the left flank... Well, actually, I might want to keep them... Well, I don't know. The militia are going to uh, look like they're going to go down. Although you men might be needed to counter-charge a unit of light cavalry sharpshooters. So you at the back keep engaging their, their 24 pounder heavy horse artillery. You men charge the light cavalry sharpshooters. 
This cavalry engagement's ongoing. It looks like they've exhausted their reinforcements, so we can chase down their... <laughs> chase down their cavalry pretty quick. Obviously, they're chased down their artillery pretty quick, I mean. It looks like their cavalry is determined. There we go. So we've one on the left flank, so we can push up our troops to start to try and get some flank shots off our horse guards. Advance through the line. Let's change our artillery fire to attack someone a bit closer to home. Okay, we've repelled their enemy assault. Let's get our volunteer infantry back into position. There's a unit of Freikor line infantry coming in. Okay, you men form up. It's probably prime howitzer support territory. So my cavalry are going to make it all the way through and attack the heavy horse artillery. This line infantry unit, so they are engaging my engaging my line. But we are we've got the flank going. So these grenadiers are going to break in due, in due time. Let's keep our horse guards attacking this artillery unit till it dies completely, because that's a very good artillery unit. Okay, let's get the cavalry back. Blunt number shotgunners are down. Let's get all of our howitzers to focus on that unit of line infantry. Let's bring our cavalry back to try and knock out some of these units of line infantry. The volunteer infantry still getting their volleys off. But if you guys could hit the 53rd Regiment, that'd be pretty awesome. Get a regiment of horse to run around the flank. Keep our heavy cavalry ready to smash into the second. So I give them the attack order now. We might better break them. So let's cease our howitzer fire now. Horse guards attack the second regiment of infantry. Get this infantry to attack the second regiment. You guys chase down their artillery. Those grenadiers are standing really quite well. On the right flank, though, things have gone a lot worse for them. So these units here that are pretty weak swing around, hit the 7th Grenadier Regiment. First IR Regi Grenadier Regiment Glasson. Glasson app. They look pretty awesome. But our volunteers are going to load and fire and engage. Like I said, these, these artillery units are just pretty... They're not bugged, they're just not great. These units are going to swarm and engulf and destroy the 2nd Regiment. So you guys attack these enemy artillery units. 15th Regiment are going down. Continue to kill their crews. Then attack the 16th Regiment. So let's get our general out and about. Let's try and knock out some of these grenadier units. There we go. Let's just take the infantry here and march them out of position. My cavalry. Good, you guys have actually wiped them out. So you men push up the right flank quickly. Damn right, we're going to continue. You're going to chase down the Freikorps, my general. Well, all my artillery. Ceasefire, all my infantry. Such as it is. Oh, the coal streamers, they've run out of ammunition. Turn everyone fire will off. General's bodyguard. Attack the seventh. You men cease fire. You men attack them. And let's speed up time. Let's give you guys the eleven foot guards to try and chase down. You guys hit the elite grenadiers. Second horse guards are attacking this unit of Freikor line. Who, who have been annihilated. There we go. So this elite enemy force has been 
utterly smashed. Let's get them both working on the 22nd. And then everyone can work on this unit of grenadiers. It's not my general, it's my regiment of... Oh, it's another cavalry regiment to the southwest. Well, southeast according to the compass, but... There we go. So that Prussian army has been destroyed. Yeah, we lost a good chunk of men, but they lost a whole lot more. We've got 400 men remaining and they're falling back to the capital cities. So you men replenish. You men... Well, George Wade, yes, so you're waiting on reinforcements to arrive. Kevin McDowell advanced to this bridge. The garrison here at Hanover. You cannot leave the city. Um, but we are, so we are building up our named unit, uh, named army force, aren't we? Yeah. You're waiting for two cavalry units. You're waiting your turn. You're recruiting a handful more infantry. Okay. Obviously, you're still sieging Tripoli, which is good to know. You're well, you will become a proper army. So let's take... Well, let's just combine one of these, some of these units together rather than replenishing because we are about to disband. Well, no. Rather than recruiting more, we are about to disband some troops. So let's just do a bit of... A bit of housekeeping. So we need space for currently four units. Well, it is four units. So let's take two infantry units back to Tunis. There we go. We have this force here at Tunis. You guys are holding on. So you've landed near Naples. You want to put the Ottomans under pressure. I think the best way to do that is to take this force at Genoa under Flynn Gardner and advance onto Cremona. Because that would blow a real hole in the line of the Ottomans there. Mark Cochrane, can you leave Württemberg? You can, and we can tax you for it. Let's repair the wine estates. So Mark Ockren, go here, just to prevent a Ottoman breakout to the north. It's here in France, we've got another army growing. So let's try and build more Swiss units here. And we're going to get a pike unit to represent something being a bit more French, a bit more continental. So we have the we have the uh, the Baltics blockaded. We've got the the um, control of the Straits. Actually, where did I send my ships? Oh yes, I pushed them out to attack the Ottomans. That was it. So we could do with well, we are, I think, going to recruit a substantial blocking force to maintain control of. The Mediterranean, obviously you're in Algiers converting people, so we're going to run you up to the border between Tunis and Algiers. Anaba is going to grow in six turns, which is the port, which is quite handy. Um, but Genoa, let's recruit four units of infantry, we're going to take Flynn Gardner. We're going to advance and push the Ottomans away out of this steam engine factory. Um, and then we might might actually be able to land well push an army up towards Venice to secure that territory there but we have, to, we have to wait and see we have to we need to push these Ottomans back and uh yeah we need to make sure we secure the boot of Italy okay so my artillery is going to be deployed here I'm attacking them but I actually want to deploy slightly defensive because what we're seeing here is a large central feature that cannot be advanced and I don't know if they're going to go down one... I don't know whether the bulk of their forces are going to make more sense to push up one or the other or both so I'm probably going to want to take take all my troops make a giant line until it becomes more clear what the best path is because you don't want to get caught out advancing you know 
The bulk of your troops at the right and they come storming down the left and take out your artillery and suddenly you're surrounded. So you have to be a bit more careful. Okay, so they're spread out, but they're primarily on the right. So we can fairly happily start to swing our flank around. So should we do some should do some damage to these Delhi horsemen and some Andari horsemen? I mean, But the bulk of their forces are up here on the high ground, so we do want to either we do want to push up and secure this front, but also make sure we make, we're maintaining control over this central feature. Might mean this unit here dropping quickline might be a bit defunct. My howitzers, even though they have fire at will on, they're not actually engaging. Because probably because they can't see the artillery. Because they naturally will want to shoot the artillery. Which which I get. Here come some round shots coming in. I've missed the semini. So I wasn't in a rush to push and catch those cavalry units out in the open. So let's take this many men. Well, are they advancing down the hill? They are coming. But this artillery unit that can drop quicklime, they can do some good, but they're not the... They're not the unit we'd like. So they're hoping to try catch us on the hop. Well, if they can muster up the strength to do such an offensive action. This how its unit may act Ooh, I was about to say fire round shot, but actually the quick the howitzers are coming up into position. Or well, the troops are coming up into position to make them ripe for howitzer fire. These four units are going to advance up flank at speed. With a cuirassier unit for support, these remaining units are actually going to help secure our main battle line. So the artillery, you hit Tepahi, you guys hit Janissary Grenadiers, you guys hit probably the Janissary Musketeers to the rear. You guys hit the Janissary Grenadiers because they've just marched into range. You guys are aiming at someone. Delhi Horsemen still, I presume. Yeah, stay, stay ready. Let's run this unit up. The Azars are probably going to open up at extended range. So these units might actually advance somewhat to the slightly higher ground. But they are going to have to advance at speed. I mean, you men are right to engage that Janissary unit there. You guys have plenty of options on who to engage. But we're probably going to aim at some of the cavalry in the centre. I've got some Indari horsemen on the right flanks. So let's move my heavy cavalry up to engage them so I can take... Yeah, they're starting a push. There go. They've wandered into musket fire with their heavy cavalry. Too bad we're getting sound shenanigans. No, 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 no. Mm, quick climb's trying to get him. You men both drop into square. Let's keep quick climbing the centre of their effort. You men, you guys do have to push up the extreme rear. This cavalry is going to advance at speed to the centre of their position a bit more. Those Sapahi have been pushed off. You men get out of square into line again. He's a Muslim advancing at us. Attack ground, quick climb fire. Or one unit attack ground, quick climb fire. These Muslim are more than more than welcome to engage my line like that. 
There we go. My desire would be to use my infantry to sweep down from the rear and kind of force them to advance into this open grounds. So you men again drop into squares. There you go. The mountainism have been hit. They're going to be drawn into the drawn into the combat. They will likely be routed and. Uh, Concentrated artillery fire. Risks of souls are up here, so they're actually something to be concerned about. Ah, oh, the Sipahi have charged my heavy cavalry, which is obviously isn't isn't ideal. Let's begin our advance up the hill. Something we must be expected to do, because we have a army up there that's able. Well, it's under fire, really. And will be increasingly so. So you men advance up to that combat, fire down into it. You men push up and around here. All our artillery fire folks firing the steady horsemen up, up in the rear of the map. Oh, obviously they've pushed up there. Um, Nizam infantry came back. So my general can have a go. Zamadoy horsemen are pushing into the crossfire. So they should have a torrid time. Fortunately up here, the one unit I do have in here is my cuirassier. There we go. These men can just engage the skirmish cavalry. I think they're trying to shoot at the, the risks of souls. We routed it. My, my artillery team is uh, not happy. I'm attempting to charge into the rear of my line. But I'll charge my general in to help them. Yeah, I'm not surprised, really. So I, I am firing into a combat, which is never normally a good idea. Unit drop square, because it's starting to get around the flank. Okay, the mountain Nizam are broken. My Crassier over here should win against the Sipahi in the longer term. So the Delhi Horseman should break. There we go. Just got some enemy Azar. So you men advance. You guys continue to engage the 24 pounder howitzers. You guys engage the Simandari Horseman charging my line to the rear. To be honest, get my cavalry to start chasing down some of the enemy units. Get my colonial line spread out and continue to engage. So the gunners will be. Should probably try and. Whoa, risks of souls! So these two units regroup. Where's my cavalry? Get them over here at speed. A unit of Semini in the middle of this absolute maelstrom who is not going to stick around for very long there. Let's push up. All my artillery engage. The horsemen there. My howitzer, singular. Engage the horsemen there. Yeah, the risks of souls are coming in. Where's my... So I'm hoping... There we go. I'm hoping my infantry can break the risks of souls. And it looks like they've got an excellent chance of doing so because they're already deeply unhappy. All my artillery over here can engage the Nizam there. You guys engage the horsemen there. There we go. So there go the Riskers of Souls. Let's again advance back over to this position. 
Yeah, so they're firing their bows and arrows at us at rapid speed. But I'm afraid our men have muskets. Oh, we've killed their general. Where was that? Afiz Kara. Oh, he was in he was in this Nizam form in this um, Zimandari horseman formation. Bring the cavalry around very carefully. Mount Nizam are going to suicide charge. Although they are routing, and well, they are upset about the artillery fire. Let's drop into squares. These units can push up above the hill. These men are going to go after the artillerymen. And you guys can just hunker down now. Yeah, the mountain is armor done. The Semini are going to be done. Yep. And then my horse guards here are going to go knock out the artillery. Engage. There we go. Could try and do some pursuing, but I'm not. It's not that critical in Italy because we have um, quite the uh, dominating factor. Troops, so then this army can reinforce and pull back to Genoa. In which case you guys probably don't need to recruit that infantry anymore. So, they do have a few stacks of infantry, but we've got in Italy one, two, three, four, with an option of adding a fifth, should we so desire. Jude Abbott may actually end up well we will end up attacking Munich because that's no garrison at all so let's take the city with Jude's forces and yeah we do we really do need to keep that momentum going in the west on the western front because like I said we've got overwhelming numbers we've got a good amount of um, money behind us should we need to recruit any emergency forces and all we have to do in the east is hold um, hold as best we can. That would be... That's the best result, I think. That's what we can really do. So Jude's forces... Well, they can stay behind the line. Engage with round shot. Because we are going to be advancing. So let's make a mixed formation. Scatter some of my elites in the line. There's going to be pike units stationed towards the flank. There's going to be the bulk of my Hessian Jaeger are going to be on the left. We've got a unit of Russia on each flank. We've also got another artillery unit that I forgot to allocate. Let's engage. Yeah, advance up to the tree line. Advance at speed. Lancers are on their way in, but to be honest, they've just not really got a lot of men. Significantly fewer now that, now that quick line went off. There he goes, here come the Lancers, but they are going to get gunned down. Yeah, there they go. It's the 11th Lancers. Oh, so they lost a handful of men, they're also being engaged by artillery. We never expected you to stick around, Lancers. Don't worry. There we go. So they are getting some men into the fight. But it will not be enough. You men are going to advance. Might just get my howitzers to buy a round shot. It's probably not worth... I'm worrying about getting advanced artillery fire on the go. Plus it might give them a bit of a opportunity to expand and become more lethal through additional experience. So they're deploying stakes the wrong direction. Yeah, they're aware that my, my cuirassier got hit by 
artillery and a few stake casualties. But my... Okay, I didn't really want you behind the line. Yeah, you men attack the Mountain Jaeger. To be honest, artillery fire. Cease fire. It's not really any point in letting them fire. My cavalry knock out the seventh light foot. Swiss mountain Jaegers, so they're going down. We're not looking to annihilate them. I mean, we're not really. I mean, we're fighting a city battle, so so we like as we know that's not really super important. Um, I'm just going to get my artillery to do some shooting. But in general, it's not going to be super important. I'd like these Hessian Jaeger to take out the General's bodyguard because they've got excellent shot. Well, they've almost like shot down every other member of his staff except him. There we go. You've knocked out that infantry unit. A handful of units that are still left. But not for long, I'd wager. Might get Jude Abbott to get involved. A unit of militia that's come back. So those men advance. Continue. Because, yeah, we may as well. Yeah, they're not going to stick around for too long. Okay, let's just halt fire all my artillery. Let's halt fire all of you guys. Halt fire my light infantry. Get my general to just attack the enemy right there. Okay, you got light infantry behaviors on. That's why you're still engaging. Whoa, why not for the stakes? You just managed to root around them. Yeah, this isn't important. Um, I just want to get my give my general some um, additional experience. So give him a bit of experience. He becomes that uh, becomes a tiny bit more survivable. Um, he becomes a bit more capable in the fight, so in theory he should die less. And considering my record for keeping generals alive is not good at all, um, I think that's probably a wise investment. In, in, when you've got battles like this, anyway, where it's just a case of... Well, it's a case of just chasing down you know, a handful of guys. The cavalry is chasing down the other unit. These guys will rout. Yeah, there they go. So let's just use the other unit to chase down these three Lightfoot. Although there's two there. Where's the other guy then? Oh no, that is the last guy. Sweet! So Munich has fallen. Germany is going to be suffering some real financial challenges soon, I would imagine. So you've got a university, we're going to knock that down. That'll bring the city's population to heal. We can build new roads. We can march up some line infantry to Stuttgart. Yeah, the wine new states, the states that are upset are being rebuilt. We've got a clean run to hit this line of cities, Berlin, Dresden, Prague, with these three armies. I mean, you're... One more turn, you've got, a, you've got a guard unit, but you can advance and potentially take Berlin. You guys can advance and potentially take Dresden. You guys can advance and potentially take Prague. Even though you are waiting on a guard unit that's being recruited in the Netherlands? Yeah. 
That's some pretty good stuff. So then elsewhere. You're holding this ground to in case these guys try to push up through our territories there. We do have a Prussian army there that needs to be eliminated. And we have a number of troops. I mean, you guys should probably not defend that that position there. As, f as valuable as it has been. What's probably more useful is we take... The army, hold the, hold the bridge, get you guys back to Königsberg for replenishment and continued recruitment. Let's move these troops over to Königsberg as well to bolster the garrison. Then we want to take this force under Hadwin Charlton, drive south and hit Emmanuel Habich. Because right now... We don't want we don't want any gaps in our line and we don't want any Prussian armies advancing through our position and potentially hitting any of our rear territories. And again it comes down to that. Um the similar strategy of just maintaining overall pressure on every front. So they can't actually um, protect everything they want to protect at once. So the army I've moved over to Gdansk over to Gdansk was in the hope of drawing Prussian armies into a river battle in order to try and as they're advancing over to that city. Um, but we'll... It remains to be seen if that will happen. Um, it looks like my artillery is not going to be in the best of positions for this engagement. So let's take our line infantry. Because we're going to want to be pushing up to this middle line. This, this Advancing up to the high ground. My sharpshooters are going to skirt ahead of the guns with the lion's share of my cavalry. We can have some heavies on the right. But the main aim of the game will be to take the middle hill. Take it with the bayonet if needs be. And we do have reinforcements, but it's not going to be crazy useful. Well, it looks like the enemy doesn't really know how to respond. And it looks like they are going to give us the central hill. Which is great. Because that's what we want. Because that gives us a commanding view of the entire valley. So where's my skirmishers advance up? My skirmishers are going to push up to engage the 46th Regiment of Foot on the flank at range. My cavalry well, my skirmishers hold because they'll get a good volley into the flank of the 2nd Regiment of Dragoons as they charge in. And there we go. So the, our, our, our line infantry's got involved as well, but I want my light infantry to fire a volley. Cease fire. Charge my cavalry in. So they've let us have the high ground, so let's advance to the slightly better positions on the high ground, preferably right towards them. Because they've got, they're currently advanced in quite a blocky formation. So you men knock out the 2nd Regiment fairly quickly, hopefully. Keep attacking them, because they're all mixed in. We go. So let's get this cavalry to advance far down the right flank. Got our infantry engaging the head of their column. They've got a unit of lancers to hit the head of our column, but that's not going to help them out. Their infantry have broken their formation, leaving our cavalry open to potentially expose that. The Lancers have been eliminated, so the 12th Regiment can get out of square formation. The 23rd Foot Guard do not fire. So we're in the woods. Okay, let's try... Hmm. Yeah, we've got a good commanding position on the high ground. 
they currently can't deploy to maximise their firepower in the way that they would like. But we need to keep our cavalry advancing. So our sh sharpshooters again return to fire will. That's going to start to pick off the 46th Regiment of Foot up on the high ground. I'm hoping I can spook this infantry into abandoning their position. Let's use my heavy cavalry to break their formation first. Then once their formation is broken, charge my hussars in. And then once that's happened, charge my general in. Well, this cavalry is just going to hunker down and wait. Because the Swiss guards are upset. Incredibly upset. There we go, my actual cavalry advance. It'll be the general's bodyguard that pursues those guys. Let the Swiss guards be pushed back a bit further. 46th Regiment looks not happy. Skirmishes can advance up to the higher ground. Enemy squares are becoming more pronounced. Advancing their artillery into point blank position. All my artillery engage the square formations. Okay, let's bring you guys in to fight the four foot guards. This infantry is not in an ideal position as we continue to advance. Well, we're not advancing through the woods. We're holding our position in the woods, but I would like to probably push a bit further out, like so. So that probably gets you up to about here. So advance forward. Let's get a better view of what's going on on the field. Yeah, they're trying to engage my heavy cavalry. My hussars fortunately are enough to take out the enemy infantry there. The 37th Regiment of Foot are broken. Nope, they are returning. But there we go. The, the 46th have been broken in the face of withering skirmisher fire and repeated volley fire. Hopefully my general can knock them out. You guys advance. Well, either way, there's going to be plenty of gaps. So let's get my general that's over here over here rapidly as well. Yeah, the artillery is doing good work. There's men chase down the 46th. All these troops are going to be engaged by musket fire, so they're not going to get away completely unscathed, as are all of those guys, actually. The general's bodyguard has been routed. Oh, I was right-clicking. See that, that bounce. So it bounced and it came back at me. Cease artillery fire. Let's bring this cavalry over onto the right flank. You guys continue to attack and chase down the fourth foot guards. You guys are attacking the 46th. You guys stopped attacking the 12th for whatever reason. So come and intercept that general's bodyguard unit. You men chase down the 37th because they've advanced out of musket fire. You men cease fire. You men cease fire. You guys attack the 37th out ahead. You men not so bothered about the 7th there. Oh, we killed their general. All right, so get you guys on a collision course back to the home, or back to the main line. Yeah. So you men, well, my current general, uh, you guys hack down their infantry. You men hack down this infantry unit. These Prussian infantry dogs must... They must be shown what happens 
if they stand against her, his majesty. I'm pretty sure it's his majesty still at this point. There we go. Keep on taking them out. There we go. Let's bring you up over here. You guys fire well off, because that's a surefire way to kill my general. There we go. Let's take command of a few actions manually. There we go. So you guys go after the, the artillery, because they're not a massive priority, because they are running around um, hauling the gun, so they are quite slow. Come on, knock out the 18th. Okay, then, all of, okay, is everyone against the artillery now? Yeah, there we go. The enemy artillery knocked out. And that entire force has just been annihilated. 260 men remaining. Back you go. So Hadwin, Charlton, your men replenish. And bring up a howitzer. can repair that so you guys are going to hold this passage through the woods so the lithuania garrison could hypothetically advance out of there well advance towards warsaw at least and then when this named army is finished they might be able to advance and land and deliver the coup de gras against berlin so in terms of in terms of research, Oxford's about to research rifled cannons. Pretty sure we've got everything else, so it's all just military techs, which we are fast running out of. Sweet. Over in the Americas, our forces are still gathering. Yeah, they are. I mean, they're quite quite competitively done. Sorry, sir. You're about to join in a force. You guys are recruiting some howitzers. That'll be one, two, three, four armies. We won't be finished because we've still got some other armies to go. So let's get General's Bodyguard, some Curassier, Colonial Light. Recruit two more Grenadiers. Let's recruit another Rogers Rangers and another unit of Rangers. I'll form the core of a new army. So we've still got the 16th we can recruit as well, to bear in mind. So let's recruit that instead. Cool, okay. So yeah, Coburg is yeah, that's the university that we're destroying. So let's hit end turn. Yeah, that advance is advancing. That army is advancing all the way over to the Pueblo Nations. We've got more troops coming in. Or more artillery coming in. Yeah, pressure's scrabbling. To form a defence. They can't work out exactly where it is they want to go. <laughs> they are kind of mixing and matching um, armies. But yeah, they've they've lost quite a significant chunk of their fighting power quite quickly. Ooh, do I want to fight a river battle? Damn right I do, because they're both on the correct side. So let's do it. So that'll cut away... Um, a good chunk of Prussian troops on the eastern front. And so the larger force to be concerned about is going to be the Ottomans. And that's why I want to squeeze from the west and hold in the east, because the Ottomans in particular have a huge, huge amount of fighting troops near Kiev, which we can't really push against in the east in the way that we might like. So... Deploy four infantry to cover the bridge because there's a chance they might go via the bridge but all the time most of the time the bulk of their effort seems to go over the ford and we're going to put our artillery up at the back to maintain let's keep engaging at long range so let's get going so you two something like this many many muskets my line in my uh, light infantry can advance up to the woods 
Uh, you men advance near behind the line infantry. Oh wow, their reinforcements are coming in actually from off the field. The general's bodyguard, cavalry, cavalry, cavalry. Eh, the main force here is going to be destroyed. Oh, actually, that's a lot of bad artillery to face off against. Okay, let's round shot, focus on the 12th regiment. Because they just killed 25 men in one volley. So, look, Hussars, Cavalry, Cavalry, Pikes. Yeah. It's frustrating that we're not getting sound we like. The Lancers are forming up in the dead ground. Let's, f let's keep our artillery firing at their artillery. Good, the cavalry is going to commit here to deploy... Well, you guys don't have to deploy into square. Pikes, more dragoons. Now nah, we'll be okay. You don't really get the firing arc I'd like. Artillery is a bit of a concern. It's not a deal breaker. The same way that all of this cavalry isn't a deal breaker. Because they can try and push as much as they like, but hope as long as we kill them before the pikes get into the action. We've knocked out another gun. That's right, you men just hold. Oh no, no, stay in square. They're coming in again. So this is it. It's their final cavalry charge on the left flank. There we go. This is what I wanted. My right, my light infantry are able to actually fire across the ford and pick off a few troops as they cross. Okay, the artillery regiment is very upset. Down to two guns. Can't watch the crossing because this is a bit more significant. Get out of square. Form line. Ready to engage the Swiss pikes as they come in. They're going to attempt a major crossing, but we've got plenty of infantry. Just throw them back. So it's the marines and the expat infantry that are making up the first wave. It was the volleys hammer home. Soon they'll fall back. So they're starting to fire shrapnel shot. I heard it. Yep. Yeah. So they are doing... Yeah. So that shrapnel shot just annihilated that regiment of foot. That's why we've got our... Our artillery. So heavily attacking... The enemy artillery there. There we go. So our howitzers can change their... Target onto the remaining... Artillery team. He managed to push back the Swiss pikes. The enemy cavalry still exist, however, and cause us cause for concern. I like to destroy. I like to chew up this infantry. Well, to be honest, this infantry unit might start running over here to reinforce the line. So you men, if you can hold the square, the dragoons will be done for. The 116th might form square as well. Just as a hedge. Artillery's shots are landing all around the 4th Regiment, causing them to waver. The crossing is going to be repelled. This light infantry unit is going to make their way across as well. There we go. Okay, so we've knocked out the artillery. 
So howitzers can change their fire and engage this infantry that's closest to us with musket fire. You men are engaging the cavalry. These units need to reload and pour volleys into 34th and the 29th Regiment because they're about to close to your line. Rykel Cavalry has been routed. The infantry advance up the right flank. Engage the 52nd Regiment that's coming in. You men charge in to also attack the 29th. You can hear the shrapnel shot, so you men... Oh yeah, they're focusing on you. Charge them down. I don't mind losing a few of these infantry units because we have some... coming in you it's probably a bad idea to send you guys to try and see single-handedly charge the fifth but these men and their volleys might cause the third to break and rout because they've lost a lot of men in quick succession that's bought us time so unsurprisingly my light infantry have made their way up the hill to up into position quicker firing the shrapnel shot but it's detonating early and over here at the bridge yeah, they're being pushed back in comes the third horse guards although they appear to have changed their minds as well so you men get involved and attack the 29th cease fire the artillery your, your job is just to engage the infantry that doesn't rout. You men advance up to engage the 52nd. That way they should be sandwiched by our line infantry fire and our light infantry fire. We're ganging up on the 29th here. The horse guards look like they might actually try and cross over at the bridge instead. But they will be... They will meet a serious amount of square formations. You men advance to fire into the 52nd. Field artillery keep engaging the 3rd horse guards. You men can advance over onto this flank because these guys are more than enough. They're still overkill. Let's get you men to also charge the 29th. Because they are winning the numbers game. They are still holding out. Obviously they're concerned about their being, not being attacked in the rear and they're considering combats now to be even. There we go, now they are engulfed. All the artillery maintain fire on the cavalry. The horse artillery that have lost their guns are now advancing across the river, which is brave of them. Whoa, okay, you guys fall back. Come on, knock out the 29th. They're right there shaking, they're surrounded on all fronts. Because they've got 34th and there's also now the 3rd Regiment. Okay, there we go. You men form line for battle against the 34th. Enemy Lanvin militia. There goes the cavalry. Prussia Curassier guards. They got nothing. To go on the 116th. They haven't got much stamina left in them. 
these men are hopefully going to advance and do some real damage to the third regiment of militia. One last forced crossing. There goes the 34th. The new men pivot. Third, Lightfoot are picking off some of the men of the 3rd Regiment. Well, have you got actually not the best angle? Use the cut, use the quick climb against the infantry and just general art regular artillery against the against the cuirassier. Yeah, they've lost a bunch of men pretty quick. They should be quite unhappy about that. There we go. Now my light infantry got a good position on their flank. Obviously, because they're light infantry, they're quite accurate, which means the accuracy at close range is pretty devastating. They're wavering as they step over the bodies of their fallen comrades to open up. Nope, I do not think they'd like. They didn't like the mathematics there. My light infantry continues to engage as they flee. Then on the other flank, the general's been killed. Cuirassier guard are now broken. All my artillery focus on the regiment of militia, and let's speed up time because... Why not? I mean, they all missed. So let's fire with a round shot and see if the repeated but quicker artillery shots is enough, because it looks like they can't really make up their mind what it is they want to do. There we go. Nice. So the force on our side of the river was a bit of a surprise, um, but nonetheless it was a successful defence. There we go. Back you men go. The Prussians are still looking for a weakness in our line and they can attempt to find it, but I don't think they will successfully find our true weak spots. <laughs> the bulk of their men at Kiev are suddenly realising, wait a minute, we're being attacked? We are being attacked. Oh my god. Ooh. They're advancing up into our base in large numbers but this is where our yeah this is the kind of behavior that i was kind of expecting them to do a, a couple of turns sooner than they actually did so they've taken another ottoman ter russian territory the marathas are beginning uh ooh. Ooh. Hmm. So, were I not planning to invade them, that would be actually quite interesting, because I've got loads of money, and I'd like to take Kashmir, because that would be quite an interesting territory to hold, but because I am going to invade them, no. Yeah, were I not planning to invade them, I would not be... that would be... I'd be that would be enticing. Um, but I am planning, planning to invade them, so... It is not enticing. So Denmark remains a concern. If well, more of an annoyance really, this fleet. But there we are. We'll continue to grow and dominate the seas, so they won't shoot. They shouldn't be able to do too much damage. So you've got rifle cannons. They've gone straight onto sheet lead cartridges. So let's check our buildings. Obviously keep investing in our economy, because we've got a lot of money going spare. Looks like lots of it's going to go on global trading companies. Let's not go too mad. So in East Prussia, see this army now has a general with some artillery to match, although... Take a couple more turns. This force here that did our successful 
defense of the bridge might actually be able to demand the surrender of Gdansk. Nope, very well. Just hold. Maintain pressure. We're going to rebuild, upgrade this into a church school. We can repair the iron workshops. I don't think Bavaria will like us leaving immediately. Uh, minus one, that's not bad. But I think the name of the game is to get Andrew Hardy to advance to secure and probably take the, uh, Venice. Send this force south to block the eastern pass of the map. Uh, or... Take your turn to navigate the Alps. We don't need them in Bavaria. But I can hop up this pair of line infantry units to hold the territory just to make sure they don't get too upset. But you men can advance to this bridge. There is a mild gap in our line. That will be eased by the recruitment of more troops in Bavaria because George Wade, who has recruited his guardsmen back here, is able to push Dresden. Which I actually I didn't look. No, it won't bring in the re the it won't bring in this large stack here. We do have this general field marshal of the army. Okay, what I'm gonna do is take you guys get over to Homer Chandler's army. <laughs> it's, it's Nelson, but it's not Ed Nelson, it's Casper. So let's take this third rate, move them up to Belfast, just for now. Because I want to take. I mean, you guys aren't fully replenished, but the only thing it needs to replenish is that unit of Marines. Yorkshire's number one, but let's get you guys aboard ship in Bristol. And before we go too mad, let's move this force up to Rostock. They're pretty unhappy about that. But we've punted the sixth rate out to sea, which we can attack and destroy. Now the port is controllable. Kevin McDowell, you go into Hanover, because you need replenishment anyway. The port is now out. Well, it's under our control, which means that this army now can sail up and disengage. So Robin, you can advance up. This army can now disembark at Rostock. And our name, the army with all our named troops in it. I'm pretty sure it's all of them. It's got Charlie Scott's Greys, Fusilier Regiment von Lossberg, the 1st and 2nd Royal Welsh Grenadiers, Rifleman's Royal Brigade, and the Yorkshire's number one. I think that's all of our named units. And they will be attacking the city of Berlin. And that will blow a massive hole in the enemy's in the enemy's uh, in the enemy's strength. Because then that means Prussia is left with Warsaw and Gdansk, which is looking quite poorly. It's got all these troops to the east. We do need to attack. We'll either attack these armies or allow them to attack us. This are, well, like, these forces here are quite well positioned to defend against a siege assault. You men need to replenish. You're, you're covering this passage here. If these guys advance, you guys can try and hold them off. They have some Death's Head Hussars. What you might be able to do is take, take some troops and do some replenishing. I mean, we are getting rid of some of these ex units' experience chevrons that's okay we could open up two slots which we could probably do with howitzers most likely but I want howitzers in, Vin in Vilnius but I'll take I'll take some more infantry because the aim here is to try and produce a actual army so if you men march out okay you can't all go but i can take that many and then here in uh, vilnius continue to build 
line infantry. We've got an army here that can probably advance towards Warsaw from the east. We have a priest here who is probably better served over at Minsk. Because Vilnius is almost 100% Protestant. Estonia is 100% Protestant. So let's hop this guy over to St. Petersburg, even though um, it's not a massively important front. Let's do a bit of economy investing. So we do have some armies wandering around, but this is why we do have these extra armies being recruited. Moscow is quite well taken care of. Edwin's raiding the trade route there. Let's keep our keep our overseas military upgrades going. I've said it a few times. The only real reason I bother with it is so that I can. Um, Your Majesty. Should anything bad happen, I've got uh, I've got some ability to influence. Well, I, I've got an ability to be able to recruit troops in, in, on, on an emergency basis. So Elias Hasker is ready with the 33rd foot. Yeah. You men are ready. You men are ready. Yeah, you men can probably march into Boston. Here at Albany, we've got the Worcester Regiment. So they will probably join the troops in Boston. Montreal says waiting for the military governor's barracks to be finished to give us Queen's Royal Regiment of New York. The company of select marksmen and Fraser's rangers. Pretty sure we got our Northumberland Fusiliers. Which yes, they might actually be in the army marching down here. Yeah, there we go. Four, fifth Northumberland Fusiliers. Yes, they're positioning ready to engage forces here in Texas. We're not having much luck converting because our priest is... Uh, he's, he's okay. Uh, but our armies here are not that far off being done. So let's bring our General Cavalry Pikes, our most experienced infantry, and the Worcesters out to join these men here. Could probably do with a couple of univer American infantry mercenaries. We've got a couple of units being recruited here. Sweet. Um, but I think we're all pretty well aware that the, the main... The main action is going to be seen in Europe. So let's take... So yeah, you're getting two skirmishes and that's you finished. You men can start feeding in some of these Irish volunteers that are being recruited in Dublin. Obviously the guards are marching up to George Wade's force, but we're going to take home a Chandler, who is our named army commander, and we are going to assault... Berlin with our named army. We've got plenty of reinforcements. We're going to draw in. It looks like it's these two forces here because they're both commanded by generals. And that will really blow open northern Germany. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And I'll see you next time for the assault of Berlin. Cheers, everyone. It's a different kind of Red Army this time. <laughs>